In the next two minutes, we will learn how to create a one-to-many relationship in Power BI. Let's start. So here I have a sales table and I have a products table and a calendar table. The products table and the calendar table are my master tables or my dimension tables. And I would like to create a relationship between the products and the sales and the calendar and the sales table. Let's just take a look at how do we do that. So I have a product ID here and this particular common column can be V looked up in this particular products table right here. Using these two columns, I can make a relationship so I can take the product ID from here or I can take the product code column from here, start dragging it and drop it on top of this particular column. And a one to many relationship is created. Similarly, I can take the date column from here and connect it to the date column right here. And again, a one to many relationship is right here. You can see that one to many and one to many. There are two very important considerations that you have to keep in mind in order for your one to many relationship to work and not give you an error. The column that you're connecting on the one side of the table, this is the one side of the table, and the column that I have used to connect is the product code column. In this particular column, there should not be a blank and there should be no duplicates. Similarly, in the calendar date column, there should not be a blank and there should not be any particular duplicates. Before you go, don't forget to check out my courses on Power BI and also do not forget to subscribe to my email list, which is where I share incredibly awesome videos that I create and a couple of other things around Power BI. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. See you around.